Seduce me. Write me a poem. Tell me about the scent of musk at the nape of my neck that you dream of spending sultry summer days with me that if you could taste me it would be mangoes and tropical breezes on your tongue keeping you up at 2 a.m. for weeks staring at black ceilings, legs entwined in sheets wiping your brow wondering when the next will be seduce me, write me a poem. Drop those weak pickup lines and overwhelm me with quotes from the Ruda's hundred love sonnets. Tell me I walk in beauty like the night. Trace the lines in the palm of my left hand, decipher, then read and whisper their meaning to me. Tell me my lifeline crosses your destiny. Imprint your words on me like overnight scratch marks. Leave butterflies in my stomach with honeysuckle syllables that remind me of first kisses and holding hands at recess. Seduce me, write me a poem that prays my name and preaches our passion. Chant a litany of our love making to come under your breath with the faith of withered hands holding rosaries and cathedrals until it Images of us entwined in each other burn themselves inside our minds like incense at mass. Seduce me, write me a poem with your eyes. Lock glances for a moment across a crowded room. A soft smirk on full lips and a slow, deliberate blink followed by a flutter of eyelashes that says, damn, I wish. Seduce me, write me a poem with your body. Approach me with the certainty of the tide. Move to me without doubt or question, make me your origin and your destination. Let music be the catalyst that lets our bodies meet, spin me in and out of conga rhythms, lead me into a cold train whale, ground me into the baseline of between the sheets, then pull me close enough to feel our hearts beat together when we dance, seduce me, write me a poem that speaks of our timelessness. Remind me it was you I loved in a past life. I'm some faraway continent. Tell me I carry you in my genes, that I can't forget you if I try that our memories are engraved into eternity, that time is just a theory to us. Seduce me, write me a poem that needs no words. Compose a silent sonnet on soft, bare skin where your caress on exposed back speaks the syllable. I need to hear you, a poem where melting bodies become the book. Shallow breathing becomes prose where you seduce me and inspire me to write you the poem that shows you how to love me. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. We roll together. Me and my people always together, tight-knit like wool sweaters with dreams of making it big in our city or making our city big. Squeeze into the back of an 86 light blue hoofy Honda Civic whose bumper we'd have to occasionally climb out of the car for and retrieve a block or two behind us still. The kicker box stuffed into the back trunk, bumping Illmatic and ready to die made us feel like we were the We'd roll northward on our way to see Common in concert before he lost the sets. Kings and queens of Chicago's South Side Planet, because anyone who's ever been there knows it's a whole other world. People driving past us on Lakeshore Drive were witness to the comedic antics of teens who discovered that the effects of THC made weekends with difficult parents easier to stomach. Their scowling brows looked at the pants falling off our asses, the oversized t-shirts clinging to our shoulders, staring at us like aliens from outer space, the way parents usually look at their teenage children, reminding us, you're lucky you get to go out at all. When I was your age, we'd wave off their admonishments with a spray can in one hand and a bottle of cheap liquor in the other. Made out with our boyfriends in the back seat while our, while our friends drove us to the mall. Later hiding hickeys with turtlenecks and trying to twist them off with a cold lipstick top. We swore we'd rep the shy for life. Swore we'd carry the rhythm of spray cans, funk, skateboards, turntables in our hearts forever. Backpacks and fat laces were our uniforms. I'd pull my scully with the brim low. Pull my men's size 32 jeans up and bob my head to this, the era of hip hop that I remember. I reminisce on the cipher of familiar faces that surrounded me during those times. Hitting up the corner store, we trade our Saturday nights for bags of Swedish fish, buying cheap bottles of boons and margarita mixes with fake IDs. We gather every weekend to let the smoke of hand rolled J's wander across our faces like clouds across our city skyline during summer thunderstorms. We'd gather in that cipher six or seven deep, 
with the deep dish cheese pizza from Palermo's, a 12 pack of icy RC colas, and watch Star Wars and Beach Street. Naively dreaming of days, we traveled to New York and bombed train yards like it was still back in the day we went to school. Worshipping anything that anchored our love for hip hop and authenticity. We were in love with this culture that gave us the space to rebel against our parents' blue collar dreams. In love with the music that gave us the reason to move to the sound of our own drums. In love with the four elements that were as natural to us as earth, air, fire, and water should have been after a few rounds. And once the Star Wars tape had started to rewind itself in the VCR, we'd roll. Head downtown into the loop with nothing but the clothes we'd wrapped from Marshalls, the paint we'd wrapped from Home Depot, and the names we'd picked to replace the ones our parents gave us. Names like Mila, Peas, Side 2, Actor. Biggs, Noble, Vegas, Sam One, Sleek. We'd sneak into the tunnels, slinkier than the rats that claim the underground domains as their own and emerge with paint drip shell toes, cold noses, fingers turn aqua black and pink, then run on the L lines, suspended above the below zero streets of Chicago, wishing we were instead suspended in time, like grains of sand in a spinning hourglass, turning over and over so these moments could last forever. Blessed with the cockiness and certainty that comes with being 16, we believe we ran the city. The reason we as young people act like we know everything is because it's the only time in our lives we feel like we do. Before the broken hearts caused by future relationships hung over our heads, before the reality of bills and student loans set in, before the reality of infamil and pampers some of our friends could barely afford hit, before the now and later sweetness of our youth was washed away by the rotten lemon bitterness and the cynicism of adulthood. We existed within that cipher of familiar faces with hip hop as our soundtrack and fear never factored into our futures. And yeah, maybe I'm looking back on this story with the retrospect vision of rose tinted glasses that color everything pretty and pink. But damn, if we can't sit and talk about the way things used to be, how can we ever talk about the way we want them to be instead? Sometimes we have to piece together our past like a broken watch, losing its soul clapping hands to give our future a new rhythm to keep time to, to give our lives some of the fearlessness we possessed in our youth. Cause back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid.